Do I just go? Money saving tip number two always leave a testamentary trust for your minor child. A lot of people make the mistake of designating their minor child as contingent beneficiary of their life insurance, retirement account, annuity, or 401k. However, if a child is under the age of 18, they cannot actually receive the money. Instead, you need to go to a surrogate's court. Someone would petition for guardian of the property on behalf of your minor child. Then they would commence an estate administration proceeding, and then they would be able to collect the money, and then once they collected the money, they would have to deposit it into an account to be held jointly with the clerk of the court. This is not beneficial to anyone because once the money is held in an account jointly with the clerk of the court, guess what? In order to take out a dollar, you have to ask the court for permission. Huh? The better solution is to create a very basic will that says all to my spouse, and then upon the spouse's death, it creates a trust for the benefit of the child. And your trustee has the right to distribute at any time, and you can create whatever provisions you want to mandate distributions. This avoids having to do guardian of the property. This also avoids having the money jointly deposited with the clerk of the court. Instead, the money is held in a testamentary trust, and if your trustee needs to give money to your child for health, education, books, anything, they don't have to go to court to get the court order first. So, in conclusion, testamentary trust for your minor child seems like a slam dunk and a winner to me.